Well, as a member of the Judiciary Committee, Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar has introduced bills to increase funding to substance abuse treatment programs. As Mel Meyer reports from Walker, the senator met with representatives from the many agencies working on the Leech Lake Cass County Wellness Court who could benefit from the increased funds. During the meeting held at the Cass County Courthouse today, oh, the leaders told Senator Klobuchar just how far they've come over the last 10 years. When we got started, we figured that there had to be another model out there somewhere where a tribe and a state were working together, and um, we found out that we, we were the model. Those looking at drug or alcohol-related charges can elect to go into the program to receive a lighter sentence, get out of jail, and start working towards sobriety. Well, this court just gave me a kind of a foundation of the building blocks I needed to control my addiction as well as I could. Right now, 17 people are in the five-step program. Melissa Wilson is looking forward to graduation in June. It's, it's meaningful, you know, when somebody graduates. It's just not like, okay, bye, you're done, you know, with your probation. You're, not, you're done, let's go. The model hit home for the senator, whose father is an alcoholic. So I saw the effect that it had when he went to treatment and has finally got his, his act together, and it really made a difference. Now the representatives look for the senator to carry their message to D.C to continue funding for this and similar programs. The recidivism rates at one time went from um, around 60% recidivism, I believe it was, down to less than 7%. The one thing we know for sure is you know, the way we were doing it before, uh, traditionally, it was not really working. In Walker, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. Senator Klobuchar recently introduced legislation that would impose a fee on opiate prescriptions to be used for misuse treatment programs like the wellness court. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.